Today we're going to look at how to create a Works Cited for a web page using Noodle Tools. So once you've logged on to Noodle Tools and you've opened your project, you're going to go to Bibliography, or remember back on the side over here you would see Works Cited. You're going to Cite A and click on the drop down menu, and you're going to choose Website, and then say Create Citation. You're always going to get a pop-up showing you what the particular source you're citing should look up. I've already said to cancel to continue past that, so I'm not seeing that right now on mine. So here's the form we have to fill out. We have to find the name of the website, the publisher. This will automatically fill in with today's date, but we're going to look and see if we can find it, the latest date of publication for the website. We also want the URL or the web address. We want to look to see if there's any authors or editors. Here you can see here we've got author, editor, translator. And then we also want to find the web page or document title. So we've got the site title and the page title. And I find that's often where uh, you as students get confused. So I've got a web page up here um, that I'm going to use. I'm um, doing this for a biography project, and I'm looking at Eleanor Roosevelt. So I did a search. I found First La uh, National First Lady's Library. Uh, looked into it a little bit. Seems like a reliable source. So this is indeed the name of the site itself. And often, if you look up here in the URL, also you'll see that FirstLadies.org. That will give you an indication of what the site title is. So this is National First Ladies Library. So we're going to go back here and we're going to put that in here. Make sure you capitalize um, the beginning word of each uh, word in the title, except for words like of and the and that kind of thing. National First Ladies Library. Okay. So we're going to go back and we're going to look and see if there's an author or a publisher for the site. And if you don't see an author or somebody responsible for the specific page you're on up here at the top, scroll all the way down to the bottom and look to see who owns the copyright. We used to put that in as the author, but in actuality it's the publisher. We don't need the word the, so we can just copy this. You'll see this is the same as the site title in this case. So we're going to copy that. While we're down here, let's look for a date. I don't see a copyright date or a publication date here, and I didn't notice one at the top either. Okay, so back to Noodle Tools. We've got the publisher. We copied and pasted that, so I can paste it right in. Um, and I should put my, my um, I just noticed I left off my apostrophe here as well. Uh, there was no date, so we leave that blank. We're going to see if there's a URL. We already know there's no author, so we can get rid of that. We're going to get our URL, and we're going to get our web page or document title. So the URL is right here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to paste it in. And then I'm going to go back here again. Here is my page title, and I think on this one I can actually copy it and paste it. in there. You'll see if there is no title that you can put a description in. So say there was no title up there but I knew it was a biography of Eleanor Roosevelt, I could put Eleanor Roosevelt biography. Um, and then I'm going to say submit. And here's my citation. I already had two others in here. So here's the citation for my website. Okay. Hopefully this will help as you're um, creating your Works Cited page for your project.